So we have seen the most of the config and uh, we will quickly look into the uh, SD related settings. Though we are not doing it anything, it is better to have some fair idea as the name suggests integration with the sales and distribution module. And uh, we will, some of the settings get repeated but doesn't mean that we do it again. Sometimes SD folks will do it, sometimes FI folks will be doing it. That's the reason it is given in the both the places but it is the same scale. Example C defined credit segment, assign credit controlling area and credit segment. You also see that. Defined credit segment, assign credit control area credit segment. It, it's the same screen, so you should not confuse. See this is here. So the, it, it, it's the same thing. And assign sales area and credit control area. Sales area is nothing but see in SAP SD module. There is an organization structure in SAP called sales organization. Combination of a sales area, sales office, and uh, uh, we have one more. There, is, there are three steps, a combination of these three forms is great, uh, sales, uh, sales organization. But here specific to sales area, you have to assign the credit control area. Okay, So the credit control areas have to be assigned and it should, yeah, group diesel and distribution channel, right. The sales organization is a combination of distribution channel, division, and sales group. This is a combination of these three. The different credit exposure categories. This also we have been, we can do this one. Different credit exposure category is nothing but the naming convention, how you would like to do it in case if you want to specify categories. But it is not really a big deal. It can be done either in FI or in SD. Now define credit exposure category, enter settings. Condition procedure, partner, output type, configuration, credit release, these are all purely SD settings. These condition types, what actually these conditions, configuration partner, output types, configure of credit release, requirement of creating delivery due index from order, requirement of goods issue from delivery. These settings, even 30-40%, they do it in SD module and they adopt it here. They don't directly do here sometimes. Suppose say conditions and procedures, what is the condition? Condition means suppose if uh, procedure means nothing but pricing procedure in uh, SD. Pricing procedure comes in two places in SAP. One is in SD module, the other one is in MM module. The pricing procedure means what is the base price, what is the percentage of tax and what is the percentage of uh, your transport cost, what is the percent of your handling charges. You put that in a pricing procedure at the time of creation a sales order, system will derive the price. But it is not your duty as a FI consultant. It is purely the call of SD folks. Okay? Now coming into the partner. Partner nothing but build to shift to uh, relationship. Build to shift to means I gave you initial an example. Suppose you have a Best Buy. Best Buy says that uh, the head office assumes that they are then in the New York. They say that Please submit these many items to my so and so store which is located in California and so and so store which is allocate, located in Phoenix. So and so, um, uh, the so and so material of so and so quantity deliver it at my Nebraska uh, stores. But you send me the bill to me, I will make a payment from New York office. The New York office is a bill to. Bill to is the someone who makes the payment. Ship to is the store location where the physical material have to get delivered. So that in that way, that why they do it, if you are, if you get the material to New York and from New York to again it has to California means you are incurring the material, you are incurring the two transportation costs and you are incurring uh, tax related issue twice. So from that standpoint what they do is, in SAP it gives the function, this is a business function basically it is not SAP specific function, it is a business function and in the standard process they define that bill to ship to. And in the case of bill to, the invoice will be paid by the bill to and ship to, the physical material will be delivered. It's not you, the supplier, whoever is to do that. For the customer, you have to maintain the master data. When you define the, your customer master, you have to tell, you have to set up the relation. Whether it's a customer is a, a final customer, both bill to, ship to is the same, or bill to is different, ship to is different. If you are different, then you have to set up the relation. And another thing what you see, actually from credit management perspective, what comes here is, it's a really very good interview question. The person is, and it's again you have to follow the standard uh, best practices of SAP. 
what SAP best practice says is you may have hundred of uh, ship to doesn't matter when you have a bill to the typically the total credit line will be set up at bill to level credit limit has to be set at bill to level but some business says that no no even at ship to level also I want to define the credit limit that is <coughs> that is not the best practices but SAP allows as well as the business also do it it really doesn't make any sense for you when you ship a material you can ship the material to anyone anywhere the mm -hmm. one who is making the payment, he has to hold the ownership and the responsibility to make the payment. Since the ownership lies on the person who is making the payment, you do a credit check at the bill to level. You set up a credit limit of the bill to level. Example, see you ask him to ship some material to some of your uh, friend who is there in, uh, as in that in Seattle. I ship, I ship material to him. I don't know who is he. I never did any credit check. But who is holding the ownership of making a payment? It is you. So the credit check has to be happened on you only. Okay? Because you are saving your money directly shipping it to your friend. Or the tax rate, the tax rate that applicable in Seattle is relatively low compared to your Chicago. You can save the uh, tax as well as you can also save the transportation cost. Instead of sending it to you and again you are sending it to Seattle, if they send directly to Seattle, the cost will be uh, relatively low. From that standpoint, what you are asking is, I have to make the payment to you, Rago, but you have to ship the material to my friend who is in Seattle. At the time, the, the, the standard functionality, the best practices functionality is the credit check has to be happened on you only. Even if I get a, a credit rating information from tenant transit, I don't have to go and do it for every uh, uh, ship to customer. If I do uh, a query and find out the credit worthiness and the score of uh, uh, you know a bill to that would be sufficient. That is important. So that is called partner uh, relationship in SD. What is the partner relationship? Is a partner is nothing but a bill to ship to relationship is to be at, uh, uh, decided. Again, you don't have to do it. It's not at all your call. It is purely SD call, which then is a part of sales and distribution module in master data. Output tax is nothing but how they want to print the invoices and other documents. Configuration of credit release. Credit release is nothing but how the transaction we will use it to release the uh, block orders. Example, another important question that may like you to come during the interview is, suppose the customer has an say $50,000 of credit limit and the open items that is invoices, deliveries and new order put together the credit limit exceeded to 55,000. Okay, 50,000 is the credit limit and the new order that came is in it, uh, another, including the new order, it comes to 55,000 credit limit. What SAP does, it does a credit check. Okay, now what happens to the sales order that will be created? It will be blocked. It means how do you release? Whether you release or reject, we have seen initially using a transaction, VKM4. When we go the list of FSA credit management uh, uh, transactions, we will see that also. Main active receivable for item category. This item category is a part of the pricing procedure. Okay, so this is I'm not sure what actually it is. Maybe it is a delivery related or uh, uh, output related fee. It is all uh, it's actually item category is a part of the pricing procedure. But how it works, even I'm also not sure. The reason is. It's the purely SD functionalities. Okay, define credit groups. This one we have seen. Credit credit group for sales order, credit group for delivery, credit group for goods issue. They do a grouping in case uh, if they need it within the organization. How they want to group? They want to group all the sales order. If they want to group all the delivery, all the goods issue. But again, these are the transaction types which they use again in the pricing procedures. The pricing procedure is very typical. And uh, you know uh, th they will have some base price, and on that they will put you know so many conditions. These are all relating to that. Assign sales documents and delivery documents. Credit chip limit for order. Credit limit check for delivery type. Right. So what order type they want to do a credit limit check? They can specify it. Why they do it? Sometimes they have some order type where they don't want to do any credit check because within the customer. Suppose some customers will be there. I am sure whether you are aware or not in this procedure. They have a deemed exports. Suppose the ex-customer is there. He will directly consume the material as well as he in turn will also export the material. 
100 units to send it to him. And he has used it and 50 he exported it. The customer says that I'm going to export this material. You don't have to charge any tax. At that time what we do is we split the order. 50% will be the standard order, 50% is an export order. If it is an export order, then what happens is the system will you know, do a credit check, similarly for the delivery. But again, these are the high level information. You don't have to worry because as I said, it is purely uh, the call of SD folks. Different automatic credit control. Though this is done by those guys, your uh, SD folks, this is the actual settings that SD people will do it to do a, a credit check. I told you there are two types of credit check. One is a static credit check, the other one is a dynamic credit check. The static and dynamic credit check would be handled by uh, your SD folks. How the reaction should be there, how the status is to be blocked or not to block, this is the settings will do it. Again, this is purely SD, SD related. It's better to have an idea, but you don't have to worry even if you don't know about it. These are all the different types of settings. Next we did that when you want to do this dynamic rate contribute debt, you want to see the open items, oldest open item, high learning level, user one, user two, user three. In fact, you are you can also specify the control specific to different users. If you create, you know, I think you have been a user group something. System reaction for user group A, B, C, D. Yeah, if you want to send in okay, sometimes what happens is when you create an order, the general the general behavior is throw and block the order, but if they want to control differently, that also they can do it. Release the documents are still unchecked. If they want to have the uh, documents that are already released, sales order is already released. If there is a deviation, what percent of deviation can be allowed? What percent of deviation should not be allowed? Number of days, I'm not sure there is no credit check. Okay, if, uh, this is nothing but so some of the orders if you want to exclude from doing a credit check. So these are all the things that typically these SD folks will do it, but it's better to have an idea. See, this CCA means credit controlling area, RPCA means risk category classes, CG means a credit group, credit control, uh, how you are going to do it. This, there will be several, the several risk categories, combination of credit control area, the combination of uh, uh, you know trade control group but the only difference is depends upon the risk category that particular that particular credit check will be called so based on that risk category what they do is they will the system will call the uh, credit check whether state static or dynamic they are not applicable to us only the one which we assigned our credit check to trade controlling area is only applicable to us okay so this is all high risk deliveries goods issues we are done with accounting, only left over is the transactional information. So we, what we are doing, where we are doing, how we are releasing the order, how can we change the master data, how the data get updated in the uh, payment behavior summary, those things we need to see.